Yo, it's your boy EJ. I'm back with another video. Hey, what's going on, man? I know y'all been bored watching all these rain ass niggas, man. Uh, I'm outside right now, man. Yo, 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 yo. Junior is officially big as fuck. Um, crazy. Um, hey, uh, Katana has officially, um, grown into womanhood a little bit. Like, she's starting her attitude. Her temperament has changed. Her and Roxy didn't fought. Now she feel like she can just do whatever she want. Roxy tore her ass up anyway. Um, Katana skin is still, uh, or not Katana, but Hazel was still building her skin back up, her coat back up. So we're going to give her a good medicated bath today. Y'all know she's fully pregnant. Um, so I don't want to, you know, do too much with the chemicals and all that. And kind of, you know, mess up anything. But that's just what's going on, man. The boy Junior is getting big. We got Zeus being Zeus pooping everywhere. Um, look at her, man. Her temperament is going up. Her drive is going up. She's a lot bigger. Um, as y'all know, this bumps the hundred grand daughter. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just real deal over here, man. We're trying to get my girl coat back. I'm not really gonna show her too much because it's just like a woman, man. She going through some stuff like that. She don't want to be on camera. She don't want to be showing off. So I'm gonna respect her boundaries just like I respect anybody else's boundaries that's, that's going through some, some stuff right now, man, with the skin and the pregnancy, man. The pregnancy is, is messing up too. Hey, I ain't no poop. Hey, 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 no. You pissing on my tires over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. That boy, is just, that boy, ugh. hey, look at her, man. Look at the stomach, y'all. The nipples been poking out lately. It's starting to get longer. Um, she will be the last one to have puppies. If she did take one, I'm confirmed. She took, I can just tell you all what she looked and everything she took. She will be the last one. To have Hazel will be the first to drop the puppies. Roxy will be second to drop the puppies. And she'll be right after that. Those puppies will literally be maybe a week apart. Um, I expect, I expect. Roxy's and Katana's to come probably within a few days apart. I expect it to be a week from the day of, of hey, no, no. That boy dry, look what's going on in my gate, man. Look, shit is shit, and I gotta go get one of them little boards down there and put it right there, cause they didn't get, I don't know what's going on the other side of that gate, but they wanna go over there, man. But look at the boy, man. Look how correct he is. Look at, look at Navy son, man. Let's get a good look, man. I produced that, uh-huh. And he's going to a Hazel. So he's gonna drop a little with her. Like that little's gonna be amazing, okay? It's gonna be super fire, y'all. Look at that, look how correct he is. Look how correct he is. There's not a, there's, no, there's not too many bulls that this correct. It's fire, you know what I'm saying? A lot of sloppy bulls out, man. But anyway, that's just what's going on, man. I'm gonna go get this. Get this little board over here that I, that I used for the weapon box um, last year. So I used these for the weapon box, and I've been trying to figure out if I was going to use them again. But I'm not going to use these again, only because it's heavy. Like these boards are pretty heavy, and I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that necessary. Because if you look at the weapon box that's pre-made, they like thin ass plastic type shit. So if the weapon box that's pre-made is still plastic. Why am I using this heavy duty ass wood? You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to imitate the same purpose of the weapon box. It's just not really, it's not really necessary. You know what I'm saying? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to build another weapon box. Or we're going to build three weapon boxes. And we're going to build them out of a, out of a cheaper material. Not for the money purposes, but just because. Because it's, I don't think it's necessary and it'd be easier to move because this wasn't box is kind of hard to move. So, now we got that right there. Hopefully, that'll slow down a lot of it. But look at this boy, y'all. And this is like, this is all, this is still young and summer weight. Like, I don't, I only feed my dogs once a day and I fast them one or two days a week. Like, this is healthy. You know what I'm saying? My bulls are healthy. Like, these are healthy bulls. I don't, none of my dogs are overweight, they're healthy. Of course I can feed them more if I wanted to, but I don't eat more. If you look at me, my body type, I'm slim. I work out every day. 
I don't overeat. I never eat to get full. I eat to live. I eat to have energy to do the things that I need to do. If I'm doing more stuff that day, I would eat more stuff. I would eat more food that day to, to, to supplement the energy that I would be putting out. But other than that, if I'm at the house, I'm there with the dog, with the dog stuff, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to overeat. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat probably a little snack here and there and then one good meal a day. Uh, put, your, put your shoes on. Yeah, man. Katana temperament has gotten, I ain't say it's gotten worse. She just don't go for a lot of stuff. Um, but her mom is a known, uh, I can let her out, y'all. It ain't about like her getting out. I just won't let her out with Roxy because her and Roxy don't get along right now. But uh, she just be chasing my chicken around the house. The only reason I got her because she did this What she doing right now, all that dog and stuff. She's doing that towards the chicken. The other crazy part about that is, if none, of, if no other dog was out here, she wouldn't even be messed up about the chicken. I swear. Mm -hmm. When I had out here by herself, she never even messed with the chickens, man. She never went by. She never did any of that. That's fresh water in there, man. And her stomach is poked out a lot because that's, that's a lot of water weight on her stomach right now. But if I could just look at the nipples, no matter how much water you drink, it shouldn't poke your nipples off. So that that tells me that she's for sure pregnant. Mm -hmm. And she's, uh, she's very correct as far as a female. And then as y'all know, when dogs get when dogs get pregnant, they really go up some, you start to see the hump in their back, and that shows that their, their spine and all that stuff is making space for pregnancy. But she is pregnant, which I think she is pregnant. That is from uh, Prince, that is Prince. These are Prince puppies. So when I tell y'all that it's Zeus, Nyla together, Mixed with her is just gonna be magnificent. Also, it's gonna be an NBA production. Not from the male side, not from the, you know, she's uh, she's a little bit different, but uh, it's just it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. I'm able to see my productions from directly with you know with a bossy on blood. So, I mean, it's very interesting to see and how it's gonna compare. And the good thing about that is it's so close to this one, right? We're gonna be able to see the puppies grow up together, really side by side, a uh, week apart. And we're gonna be able to see the difference of, of uh, in house production and also in house production, but more of a collab with, uh, with uh, a huge, huge, huge unknown uh, breed name. You know what I'm saying? So that's interesting to see. Man. Super excited about that. Super duper excited about that. And as, as hard as it's gonna be to, to whip three letters at a time, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge, and also it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something new for me, man. I never done three at a time. I've done two at a time. That's pretty difficult. Uh, it weighed on me a lot, and I learned a lot from that. And the mistakes I made with those two litters at doing at the same time. She is from a litter that I did at the same time, and I feel like I didn't take the best care that I could have took um, when I had both of them litters, because those two litters at the same time too, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought I could have took better care of them. I was kind of overwhelmed. And, uh, you know, just made a lot of mistakes. But I did what I, I did what I know what to do. But this time, I'm going to do it a lot better. So much better. Also, I got a huge announcement coming up as far as as far as far everything else going on. Uh, I'll be getting a lot of community backlash from my, from my area with the dogs. They've been sending um, animal control to my crib. They've been sending the Humane Society police to my crib on the... I think it's a neighbor, I don't know if it's a neighbor or somebody from YouTube, but this is a wicked world. But every time they come over and they check shit out, they see like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, your dogs are took care of. So the main things we're coming to see about is do the dogs have shelter? Yes, they got shelter. Do the dogs have good access to clean water? Um, yes, they do. Do the dogs have access to food? Yes, they do. Also, I have uh, vitamins at my house and I showed them everything. I showed them I got vitamins, I got penicillin. I got everything ready for anything uh, that goes on. I have plenty of dog houses. I have plenty of of, of spaces. So yeah, man. Um, if you send some, if you send them animal police to my crib, you ain't doing nothing but waste your time because they checked everything out. They see my dog's living conditions, and it's so much, it's almost it's almost superb. Like my, my dogs live a great great life. You know what I'm saying? They have a nice backyard. They have good. Um, human contact they um they're good around children you know what i'm saying i got everything man my dogs grew my kids grew up with dogs my dogs grew up with kids so it just it's just the best of both worlds man when you when you implement 
good, good, good behaviors early on, man. You got good dogs, man. You know, good, healthy dogs. I'm going to be super healthy, man. Even with her going through the same energies, she's very interesting. She's scared and she's a uh, worse type of girl, man. But that's just kind of what goes on sometimes. Sometimes you just deal with skin allergies. Also, when you put two light racks together, you deal with skin allergies. And I didn't know that. I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning not to put light rack with light rack. Uh, I would never do that again. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that, though. I didn't, you know? But I know that now. So, we just continue to move forward, continue to learn from my mistakes, continue to grow. We're going to get better and better and better, okay? As far as these two litters coming up, uh, I'm only accepting the prizes for her and... Um, in Roxy right now. I'm not going to set the positive on Katana just yet. I just want to see her nipples poke out a, look, a lot more. I don't know, because it could just be a puberty thing that's making her, her nipples poke out. It could not It could not be a pregnancy, but I just want to wait and be for sure. But I am taking deposits on Hazel and Junior Litter, and I'm taking deposits on Zeus and Roxy Litter. Those deposits are $1,000. Until you get to the point where you're lion breeding, you're throwing grandparents. When you get to the point where you're consistently line breeding, if you're not consistently line breeding, you're throwing grandparents, okay? That's just how it go. Until you start line breeding and doing a, a really tighten up your line, you're throwing grandparents. So right now, we're gonna be throwing a lot of grandparents until we start the line breeding. I expect to start the line breeding after these next three litters. So after these next three litters, this is where I'm finna start going like, okay, I'm, I'm for sure keeping her, I'm for sure keeping him. I'm taking that one to the dad, I'm taking this one to the mom. Da, da, da. That's where my line is finna start. Now my line is finna start. I'm finna pick the best of the best from these litters, and I'm keeping. I'm keeping the best female from him, from her, and uh, 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 Prince. You know what I'm saying? Probably the best, the best female, the best male. I'm keeping the best female from that litter. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping the best, the best female and male from Zeus and Roxy. I'm keeping so like now y'all finna start seeing me with a lot more dogs. Also, when they come, when you think about a lot more dogs, what comes with that? A lot more space. I am looking to move right now. I'm looking to move right now. So probably the next week or so before the puppies get here, y'all might see a big move, a big move for the family. That boy is clean. You don't get no cleaner than that. Okay. Queen. We got Prince puppies on the way, y'all. In-house production puppies on the way. Look at that. We're gonna get chocolate tries, blue tries, gray tries, black tries. Just a little full of amazing dogs. If you don't know who Prince is, go find him on my channel. Bunch of videos on my channel. Prince first litter is on the way, okay? It's his son, his son that's bigger than him. He's having puppies with her, bro. It's, it's just, it's really crazy. What I was hoping was, I was hoping that Prince knocked out Roxy, that was, cause it was still had Zeus genetics, but it would just been, it would just been a larger, you know what I'm saying? With that Nyla blood added in. Trying to see what it's gonna look like, man. I'm excited, man. Super duper excited. I don't know if y'all know, but these dogs are outside all day and night, okay? They've been outside for 36 hours. So don't give me that whole, you let your princess die, da da da. Yes, I let them out. Look at them. Look how they act. You think I can let them out? So what I've been feeding, what I've been feeding the dogs is Nyla. Okay, so I'm gonna feed them Nyla. I'm gonna feed them Nyla. I'm gonna feed them Nyla. For the boys, but all my girls and, and the Frenchies been eating this. All the Frenchies and my girls been eating this, okay? Because they nurse when they pregnant, well, they're not nursing, but they're pregnant, okay? It says formulate for puppies and pregnant or nursing dogs, all right? Okay? Okay? They're pregnant, they not, they're pregnant. So I got the girls on that. Um, I had them on a high protein, so I took them off there because it doesn't make sense. Because if I'm going to feed the puppies uh, diamond, you know, when they get here, when I, you know, when they're trying to do the mush, I need also need to be getting them prepared, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, for that. Also, it don't make sense to feed your girls uh, a different type of dog food that you're going to be feeding the puppies as they will. So, we're going uh, to do this. We're going to use the puppy diamond for now. Um, and then when the puppies hit a certain... Uh, you know, they, they four weeks and some shit like that. When I start taking them off the breast, then we'll move back to the uh, to the other stuff for the females. So I was using um, the value pack. 
and they worked okay. Um, I wouldn't say I just had some of the best reaction, but y'all know, man, dog food, it's not, uh, it's never enough. You know what I'm saying? It's never enough. As you've been watching my video for years, on years, y'all know I implement raw, I implement ground beef, I implement, I implement vegetables into their diet as well. The kibble was just like some shit just to give them, you know what I'm saying? Just to fill them up real quick. But um, also come behind that with a bunch of raw to, to, to ease their stomach, you know what I'm saying? To ease the, the plaque on their teeth. You know, give them a lot of raw uh, frozen food that cleans their teeth, a lot of bones and stuff, clean their teeth. And I also give my dogs femur bones as well. Um, you know, get them stuff to chew on, man. I think it's very important to always give your dog something to chew on. No matter what's going on, you always give your dog something to chew on. No matter what's going on, always give your dog something to chew on. You put them in these kennels, understand you want to keep the kennels clean, understand they might shit on the bones, they might da, da, da. You might put the gloves on, clean the bones off, and give back to them. That's just kind of what goes on in the dog world, man. You give your dog toys, you give your dog this, they shit and piss on them. You just got to clean the toy up, and uh, give back to them, or just throw those toy away and give them another toy. This is what goes on. I understand it sound crazy, I understand it sound crazy, I understand it sound crazy. We got this hole right here, this stupid, stupid little mother. Been chewing up all my cages. Um, um, then broke up, broke my cages up. This her, a Frenchie. Okay, even letting her out, she still just destroys things. Look, everywhere she's been, she put big holes. She did this. You know what I'm saying? She's feisty. She look. You see that shit? Did y'all see that? Y'all seen that then? Look, that's a little went for the bite, the gusto. But she didn't actually put her teeth on me though. It's crazy that she just did that. But she didn't actually bite me though. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's, you know, it's, it's French Bulldog shit. You know what I'm saying? But she just kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, let me get them girls some water. Cause like I said, they've been, out, they've been outside all day yesterday. They need water, they thirsty. Just got bleach in it, so we're not gonna give them that. We're gonna use, there should be another bucket around here somewhere. Okay, it's outside. The other bucket is in the backyard with the dogs because they're outside. Okay. Anyway, let me get these dogs some water, get this shit cleaned up. And I'm going to give baby mom, little mama a bath very quick. And this is shampoo I've been using for people that have been asking me. I use a new plague, extra strength, medicated healing shampoo with zinc PCA for dogs. Severe skin problems, mange and scabies, fleas and ticks and hot spots. Creating healthy pets, okay? This, this is what I give her, okay? That's what I bathe her with. I'm going to organize all this shit right up here, too. Don't worry about it because I told y'all I'm in the process of finding a new house. We're going to move a way bigger space, a way bigger space. I got rocks in our sun, man. You can't deny that, man. This is fire, bro. Look at what she produced, bro. She made him. Come on, man. And he got a lid on the way. I told y'all he was gonna get big then. I told y'all he was gonna get big then. Hey, boy. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. You see how I put the com coming down so y'all can see how, how athletic this dude is, man. Nigga just bit my hair. And that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see? Oh, you just beat my neighbor. Just beat my neighbor. Just beat my neighbor. Just beat my neighbor. Anyway, you want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Let's go.
got hood is going away. You want to see more videos? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Hey yo, I've been failing y'all. I've been leaving this outside. As y'all know, if you leave this outside, what's gonna happen? They're gonna become disinterested in it. They see it all the time. What happened, y'all? Hold on, Alicia. All right, y'all, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go in the house real quick, man. I'm gonna spend time with my little ones, man. As y'all know, I get up early in the morning. So I got these videos for y'all, man. But at the end of the day, I am a father. I got a lot of kids, and I love spending time with them. So we'll catch y'all later, man. Yeah.